How does one develop authentic leadership? There is a wide range of strategies leaders can use to develop their authentic leadership capacity. Here I will focus on one approach developed by Bill George. In a large, in-depth study of how people can become and remain authentic leaders, George and colleagues interviewed 125 successful leaders. Based on the findings, George proposed a development model that identifies the necessary qualities that one needs to become an authentic leader. The model also outlines the how-to steps to becoming an authentic leader. According to this model, authentic leadership has five dimensions. Purpose, values, relationships, self-discipline, and heart. Each dimension has an associated characteristic which people need to develop if they want to become and remain authentic leaders. The characteristics are passion, behavior, connectedness, consistency, and compassion. It is important to note that leadership is like muscles. People cannot strengthen their muscles if they do not practice. To develop authentic leadership, one needs to devote oneself to a lifetime of practice and learning. Authentic leaders are proactive in their lives. They constantly reflect on their experiences and practice their values. Let's see what those steps are. The first step towards authentic leadership is learning from your life story. Your life experiences are full of lessons that can inspire you to make a difference in the world. All the life experiences are important. What matters more is your narrative of those experiences. By constantly reflecting on your life experiences and story, you will better understand your own position in your own context and in the wider world. George and colleagues report that authentic leaders' motivation mostly comes from the difficult experiences the leaders have had in their lives. Authentic leaders see these difficult experiences as informative events that make their lives meaningful and enable them to find their passion to lead. To become an authentic leader, you need to know yourself and strive to be the person you want to be. By being themselves, authentic leaders can sustain their success over long term. This is because they know their authentic self. All the tangible criteria such as money and financial improvement may imply success, an authentic leader's long-term success comes from their self-awareness. Being willing to listen to feedback and criticism is critically important in improving your self-awareness. According to George and colleagues, the greatest hurdle that a leader may face in becoming more self-aware is denial. People have egos and fears that must be struck and allayed. Another practice that George and colleagues suggest is necessary for developing authentic leadership is practicing your values and principles. Authentic leaders' behavior are guided by their strongly held values. Your values constitute your leadership principles, which in turn guide your leadership. For example, a value such as empathy can underlie a leadership principles such as creating an environment where understanding others' feelings and experiences is the core aspect of the decision-making processes. You might ask, how would I know that the values that are guiding my decisions and actions are my true values? Well, as George and colleagues emphasize, your true values are the ones that still remain stable even when you are under pressure. For example, you would never sacrifice your empathy if it is one of your true values, even if this means you may lose your job. This is especially important in global development when working with those who are vulnerable. Authentic leaders know that the balance between the intrinsic and extrinsic motivation helps them to keep their lives in balance and to sustain high levels of motivation. Those who are extrinsically motivated act to get external rewards, such as recognition, financial success, and job promotion, or to minimize or avoid any possible negative consequences, such as working hard to avoid losing a job. In contrast, intrinsically motivated people do things because they find it interesting and enjoyable. Many leaders in development are intrinsically motivated to help the disadvantaged but most still balance this with a range of extrinsic motivation. Understanding both is very important.
No one is perfect. Effective leaders are those who acknowledge their strengths and weaknesses and build a team around them that can complement their skill set. Building your support team is critically important in international development due to the high number of uncertainties involved. So if a leader faces an uncertain situation, the authentic leader has a trusted and supportive team that can give him or her wise advice. The relationship between the leader and the support team is reciprocal and mutually beneficial. The final step involves integrating your life by staying grounded. All of us play different roles in our daily life. For example, as parents, friends, colleagues, a volunteer working for community, and many other roles. Many leaders in development are also deliberate in spending time in the field or maintaining a range of community relationships. Authentic leaders know how to bring all these constituent elements of their life together and be consistently true to themselves, the same person in different environments. Authentic leaders have a steady and confident presence. They do not show up as one person one day and another person the next. Achieving progress in development involves making long-term commitment and working with people to bring about lasting change. So leaders need to maintain a level of consistency in their practices. To sum up, we can't contribute to a better world if our leadership lacks authenticity. Real development at the global scale requires authentic leaders. Leaders who are the manifestation of who they are as people. Leaders who are passionate about their purposes and constantly practice their values and are truly committed to leading people towards making a difference in the world. As George and colleagues emphasize, no one can become an authentic leader by faking authenticity. Effective leadership in global development relies on trust, and that trust is created if leaders are authentic and genuine.